So just this this I'll let you read that. So you have to pay fifty euros to your lawyer. Okay, no, this is not the problem. This is just to give you an idea. What happened? So the English okay? I'll speak slowly. Okay. So my profession is an IT manager. An Italian company, BTO, hired me as an IT manager. Mm -hmm. They sent me to Sky Deutschland mm -hmm. in München. Mm -hmm. A lot of harassment, bullying, racial comments. I'm not talking just from German to English, everybody. Italian company, intimidation. So what they said was, okay, you can't come back to this guy's site. I contacted BTO, nothing happened, I got a German lawyer. So I sent the German lawyer, uh, Arbeitshelfen, uh, a lawyer Christian, all the evidence. And there was a lot of evidence, emails, everything. So he said, it has to go to court. I said, okay, can I come to court? In Germany, you're not allowed to come to court. I, don't, I was new to Germany, right? I didn't know. So, I don't have that much money because I got two bad accidents, so it was legal aid. And he said, okay, don't worry, the German government will pay for me. So I said, what do you need for, I gave him all the evidence. He went to court, came back, and he said, he, in an email, he said, oh, you got 2,400 euros. I said, what is that for? He said, for, they never gave me a termination notice. I never ever got a termination notice. So that was for that. I said, but what about all the harassment, blah, 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 blah. Oh no, we can't do that. I said, can I come to your office? So I went to his office and this is the problem. He sat opposite me, he said, you didn't give me the right information, you didn't give me, I said, no, 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 no. I gave you everything, can I please see my file? Then he started to become violent pushing me, shoving me, and I said, stop. I said, give me my money, it's not yours. I said, you've done like one tenth of what you were supposed to do. You lied about this, you didn't tell me the German law, etc., etc." So when I asked for my money and my legal file with all my personal information, he punched me in the arm. So I walked to reception. I said, can I have my file, please? No. So he grabs me by the arm, there's about three, four, three, four people. He tilted it before? He's more than 50 pounds now, I remember. He's about 50 pounds now, I remember. He's about three, four people sat here who are clients of this. He grabbed me by the arm and threw me out of the office. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm, normally I would retaliate, but I'm new here, I don't know what I can do and what I cannot do, right? Put hands on and fight back. So I called the police out in Munson and got two, cop, two police officers, police out turned up. And I explained what happened. I had a bruise on my arm. I said, Look, he's hurt my arm. They said, He didn't touch you. I said, But how can you say that? You weren't even here. I said, Can you log a report? I said, There's at least seven witnesses in there that saw what happened. No, no, no. And you know what he said? And this is the reason I left him it was, he said, are you German? I said, no. He said, well, he's a German lawyer in his bureau. You can do whatever he likes. If you had a battalion against him, I would put you in prison right now. 
And I said to him, I said, are you willing to put that on record that you said that? No. And then they both left. So they gave me like a scrap piece of paper that had like nothing on it. I said, can you tell me who you are, your name, your badge, or something? No. And the lawyer pretty much just waved the money, my, my money, in my face. And 10 months later, I, mean, I emailed him. I emailed him in such a way that I looked at the German law and wrote it like a lawyer would write it. And he just didn't reply. So not only does he have my money, he has critical information to my legal case. And he will not give it back. And I don't, I, that's that. Do we have a, uh, the representative of one of the which is the of the video? Yes, yes, yes. 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 But how do you get a copy? I have, well, I have, listen, I have, uh, because I've had to travel around so much, I have a whole bunch of information in my hotel, right? What I'm saying is, I have hundreds of emails going back and forth between us to verify exactly what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. um, and and, the, and our, uh, the thing is, our contract together is on my email anyway. Everything is on my email. So it's better if you take all the papers, mm -hmm. what we need, uh -huh. come back, uh -huh. and then we make a report. Okay. Because now you tell me the story, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's true or it isn't. Okay. So maybe I need um, from the law, from the judgment, um, a paper mm -hmm. that you get 2,400 euros from... He wrote, he wrote that, not the court. I don't know what happened in court. But normally you get papers from the lawyer. He won't give me anything. Okay. This is, it, uh, yeah. 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 This is the problem. Because yeah. he's withholding the information yes. and the money. So I don't even know, to be honest, I don't even know if he went to court. It's that bizarre. Because at first he's saying, oh, legal aid. Then he's like, oh no, now I'm charging you fees. Won't so Now he's charging me fees. He's uh, got violent, he kept my money, and I can't get my information. I emailed him two, three times in a very professional, legal way, and just nothing. Zero response. Yes. Do you know which law, uh, which... Um, it's his own company. I don't know, uh, which um, um, court that decide? I have no idea what he did. I, he, all, all I ever did was go to his office, he's like, leave it with me, I'm German. I'll deal with it. I, I don't even really know if he went to court. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, my impression is, is the BTO, and I can't prove this in any way, so this is just hearsay. Mm -hmm. BTO, I give you some money, tell this guy to get lost. Because I never went to court, I never saw any legal documents, all the evidence I gave him I never got back. Nothing made sense. Everything made sense up until the point we started talking money, and then and something exchanged hands with them. That I cannot prove, but I'm not stupid. Okay, I'm sure that you're not stupid. Um, do you live in Hanover? Yes. Okay, is it possible to take all the papers together and come back tomorrow morning? Are you here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, yes. Yes? Yeah. All the email um, correspondence. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, you have no contract? Between you and BTO? Oh no, I have a contract with them as well, yeah. But the, what they did was, when I left Sky, yes. they disappeared. And then they're sending me WhatsApp messages, and then I never got a termination notice, and then, then I joined SAP, and that's why I'm in Hanover, because I have a legal battle with SAP uh, that's not related, and they didn't pay me, blah, blah, blah. And, but the, they're still in the so but the company's in the lab. They just, yes, yes, yes. They, they disappear. So that's what makes me think money, as soon as I got walked off Sky Darkstone, no one would talk to me about Sky Darkstone. I didn't even go into Sky Darkstone a couple of months ago and said, look, can we be adults about this? Just give me my money, find out what happened, and then we go our separate ways. And I actually got taken into the Sky Darkstone building 
they were like, okay, honestly, we don't know what happened. We gave the money to BTO. Something happened between BTO, Skybox, and my lawyer. The money exchanged hands, and no one talked to me. I was just like, and the problem is, is that in Germany, you know, like if you work one year in Germany, you're entitled to a benefit. They made out that I didn't even work there. And I worked there for like two, three months. Mm -hmm. So I really have no, I have no physical evidence of legally what he did because he would, I was never allowed to go with him. In Germany, you're not allowed to come with him. Now I know that's not true. Yes. Okay. Um, I take all the um, papers. Mm -hmm. I need the name of the lawyer. It's it's on my email. Okay. And the address is maybe a telephone number so I can talk to him. Right. And then you come back tomorrow morning. Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've got 10 million things to do, but I'll, yeah, I'll give you what you need. Yes. You don't have to stay here. Um, you can give me the papers. I make a report. You can come back and you can sign it. Yes. And then I can go. Uh, so, just talking to police officer, he, he's not allowed to do that, is he? No, he isn't. Okay. And so, he isn't allowed to say uh, that you don't, can come to court. Yes, no, I because if I you don't know, okay, you, have, you can go get it. Right. So the one thing is, is it a, let's say he's out okay, the money is obviously one crime because he kept it. The violence is another crime because he did it. But the information, like the emails and evidence and things like that, is that classed as that? I can't get my, my file back. I have no idea what this guy did. Really, I don't. Is that classed as that or not? Well, what is it? Is it a crime? I can't get it back. What, what's the name of the lawyer? It's Christian, to be honest with you, I can't remember the guy's last name. But he, he, he's supposed to be a legal sign. Yeah. Um, I thought it was healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a, a very German accent. I don't know if it's anybody, but it's in the email. But uh, he did just... Once I actually said, give me my stuff back, I'm going elsewhere, I said, I'll even go to court myself. That's when he became violent. And then when I walked to reception, it's quite a small office, and there was three people there. I'm like, just give me my file so I can see what you did. That's when he physically threw me out the building in front of people. And the thing is that I couldn't understand was when the two police officers turned up, at least go and like, go and talk to the people that are in there. They wouldn't even go in the building. I'm like, so all the witnesses are still there. It only happened five minutes ago. They'll tell you. And they didn't do anything. Uh, when, when, when was that? I have to double check the exact date. I, I can't remember. It was, it was months ago, like over six months ago, so I have to double check. Yeah. Yeah. Because maybe we can. Um, I can call the. Um, the building where. Was it only a building with one lawyer or uh, more lawyer and or some uh, other firms? No, 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 no. My understanding of that building. Because you said there were a lot of witnesses, clients of his. Okay. Plus, he has. So what happens is you walk in the door. Mm -hmm. His office is to the left. Mm -hmm. To the right is where the clients sit, and then the far end of the office is where he has three or four receptionists. And they see everything. Yes. Okay. That's my that's my point. Is like the police didn't even go in and ask them. It was a case of no, it didn't happen. And when they said you're not German, he is the he likes, That's actually one of the reasons I left Munich because I went to a police station in Munich and I said, well, if a German attacks me and I I determine myself, what rights do I have and I don't have? And even when I went to the central station in Munich, it wasn't clear to me because they're like, well. If you hit him harder than he hits you, or if he hits you, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Like, let's say, let's say you are a civilian, and you were German, and you hit me, but I defend myself, and I hit you harder, I'm still the one that gets the crap. I, 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 I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So I felt like I couldn't defend myself. Yes. And the problem with this is, yes, I have uh, help for a lawyer to take on a lawyer. But look, anywhere in the world, not just in Germany, it's very difficult to get a lawyer to take another lawyer to court. I mean, it's virtually impossible. 
they don't they don't they just don't want to do it, right? Yes. They'll give you I've contacted a few lawyers around here and they won't even remotely touch you. It's not that they don't believe me, it's just they're going against another lawyer and there's some code that a lawyer can't take on the They just won't do it. I don't know how I get my money back because if I if, if I cannot get a lawyer to take you to court and it appears it's it's not gonna happen. So do you do you get a good from the lawyer? No, what happened was when he made up this 2,400 euro or whatever, right? All the way up until that point, he's like, your legal fees are covered, your legal fees are covered. Then when he said, I got this random amount, it doesn't make any sense. He's like, oh, you owe me this, you owe me this. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And when I started to ask him, why are you now charging me right at the end? When I spoke to you for five months, everything is paid, in, paid by the German government. Now that they've given a settlement, it doesn't really make any sense. And as I started to ask more and more questions, he became more and more angry, more and more red. And then when I said, let me see my file, I want to know exactly what's going on. That's when he became violent. So instead of me going, yes, okay, sir, sorry, sir. I was like, no, I'm not taking this. What exactly did you do? As I started to ask more and more questions, that's when I got You have the right to see the papers. I have no idea what he did. No idea. Crazy. And he just walked off with the money. Yes, exactly. And I'm sure that the bill won't be so much. No, but the thing is... No, 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 no. The bill from the lawyer. Oh, he was making out that it was going to be almost all my... my the 2400 doesn't make any sense because it's not one month payment. Because I had no termination, it's not one month. The harassment, the what? The amount of money he suggested doesn't make any sense. And even if it did make sense, he was making out in our very last appointment that, oh no, I didn't get legal aid, and all his charges mounted up to roughly 2,400 euros. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was a total con. And he was taking advantage of the fact that he can't speak German, I'm new in the country, and I, clearly I don't know German law. And like that, was, this is almost a year ago now. This happened almost a year ago, and there's nothing I can do. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking about. I need all the papers. Yeah. From the lawyer. Yeah. The date. Yeah. The date um, with the police officer in Munich. I'm thinking about to write a report mm. of the two um, police officers. I, they wouldn't give me their name and their number already. No, so I don't know. I don't need. I, I need the time and the date and the address. Yeah. And then the police in Munich can have a look in the computer system and know where, uh, which person were that. Right. And then I think maybe we have to write a crime report against the police officer. Okay. I mean, the thing is, like, I've actually been tempted to go in his office, but I think that would end very badly. Or it would end in a, a confrontation. Yes. And so, otherwise, I don't really know what else to do. I have emailed him in a very polite, professional way. Yes, I'm sure. I, I can show you I have. Yes. Okay, um, you're doing all the papers? Can I make tomorrow one? Yes, what time? I'm here uh, up uh, 8.45. Okay. So, you can come between 8.45 and 14.00. Yeah, okay. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ja, es ist schon echt. Also, naja, ja. Ja. Das ist es für dich. Du kannst es Du musst es vor. Ähm, ah, okay. Dann kannst du sagen, ich bin Ja. Okay. Und dann kannst du es nochmal und dann machen wir ein Report. Okay. Aber das ist natürlich nicht wahr. Ja, das ist nicht wahr. Das ist, warum du nicht mehr einen Report hast, oder? Weil. Ja, das ist nicht wahr. Ich bin nicht sicher, dass du es nicht mehr einen Report hast. Ich bin nicht sicher, dass du es nicht mehr einen Report hast. Ich bin nicht sicher, dass du es nicht mehr einen Report hast.